Hello everyone. We will start with our new topic. Our new topic is data migration techniques. Before we jump on to data migration technique, firstly, we will understand what data migration is. Data migration is also called as data transfer. Word itself is suggesting we will migrate the data from the legacy system to the SAP system. Or we can say we will transfer the data from the legacy system to the SAP system. Now the question comes, what do you mean by legacy system? Legacy system is also called as non-SAP system. The system other than the SAP system is called as a legacy system and it has the data which needs to be transferred. So what is legacy system? The system which is not a SAP system, it is also called as non-SAP system and it has the data which needs to be transferred to the SAP system. Suppose we'll go for a simple understanding. Suppose there is a manufacturing company Currently, their business is running through some software. Suppose that software is using Java platform. Now, what that manufacturing company want, they want to move their business or they want to switch their business to SAP. It means they, are, they want to implement SAP. So in that case, what we have to do? Whatever the existing data is there, whatever the existing data in their current software, we need to migrate or we need to transfer that data to SAP. So their existing system is a legacy system and we will transfer that data to SAP. Now, Whenever we want to go for data migration, we have some steps. So we will discuss those steps. Now, what is the first step in the data migration? The first step is extracting the data, word itself is suggesting. From the legacy system, we will, or we will extract the data and we will extract the data and prepare a file. Means customer team will extract the data from their legacy system and they will provide that data into a file. Now, what is the second step? Now the legacy data is in a file. Legacy system data is in a file. After receiving the file, our next step is converting the data. What do you mean by converting the data? Converting the data to appropriate format. Suppose I'll go for simple understanding. Whatever the file or whatever the legacy data which we received from the customer, suppose in that file material length is 20 characters. But SAP is accepting the material, the material length of 18 characters. It means we need to convert that data to appropriate format because legacy data length might be different. And here SAP is accepting different length of data. So in that case, we need to convert that data to appropriate format so that whenever we will migrate the data, SAP should accept that data. So what is the second step? We need to convert the data to appropriate format so that SAP can accept that data. And this step is called as conversion in which you are converting that data. But what is third step? After converting the data to appropriate format, we will 
import that data into SAP system. Now, to import that data into SAP system, we have various techniques which we will discuss in the future. Now, after uploading that data or importing that data into SAP, the last step is we need to verify that data. Means we will check the accuracy of data into SAP system because after uploading, we need to check data is correctly migrated or not, data is correctly uploaded or not, data is correctly imported or not. So whenever you will, we are going for data migration, firstly, we will extract that data and prepare a file that data will be in the file, legacy data will be in the file. Then we will convert that data to appropriate format so that SAP can accept that data. After that, we will import that data. And lastly, we need to verify the data. Now, to import that data into SAP system or to migrate that data into SAP system, we have the various data migration techniques or we can say tools. We have data migration techniques. What is the first? We have so many data migration technique. So we will discuss few out of them. What is first data migration technique we will discuss is BDC. The full form of BDC is batch data communication. And with the help of this technique, we will migrate the legacy system data into SAP. We will migrate the data of legacy system into SAP system. After that, we will discuss LSMW. LSMW is legacy system migration workbench. It is a tool provided by SAP by which you can migrate the legacy system data into SAP. We can migrate the data of legacy system into SAP. Then after that, we will discuss BAPI also. BAPI full form is business application programming interface. With the help of this technique also, we can migrate the legacy system data into SAP. In the future, we will go into very much detail of each and every technique. So what is the summary of the topic of data migration means transferring the data from legacy to SAP. What is legacy system? It is also called as non-SAP system. The system other than the SAP system is called as a legacy system. Whenever you want to go for data migration, we have we have need to follow some steps. We will export the data. We will convert the data. Then we will import the data. And lastly, we will verify the data. To import the data into SAP, we have various techniques. Those techniques are BDC, LSMW, BAPI, and we will cover all these techniques in details one by one. So that's it in this video. Thank you.